Hey everyone, welcome to foodandwineblogtv.com. I'm your host, Greg the Beer Man Bissonette, and we are bringing you a nice summer blind beer tasting. So if you've seen our last beer tasting, you saw that I, I tasted through a series of really mediocre and bad uh, American beers, with one exception. The Coors Banquet Beer actually stood out and did a fairly good job along the series of Miller, Miller Light, and Bud, whatever else I was drinking. So, up today, we have another blind beer tasting with the winner of the American beers in the previous one and two other good beers. One, we have a local brew from Clipper City. We have the Heavy Seas Classic Lager. This is brewed maybe five miles away, maybe less. And then another one we have from Germany, uh, Jaefer Pilsner. So this is a more traditional European classic style Pilsner. Something that I would expect uh, the course to be much more similar to. And here in front of you, uh, you have the three glasses that I have my beer in. And behind, to my left, as usual, uh, are the solutions to today's problem, uh, which I do not know, and I will check at the end. Okay, so let's get down to see if I can figure out which beers are which. And this will be rather embarrassing if I don't get these, <laughs> these ones correct. So, beer number one. Uh, if you take a look at it, compared to the other guys, you can might be able to see it's actually a little bit darker. Uh, it's got a nice, I'd call that a golden color. Uh, I don't see much head on this pour. There's a little bit. Carbonation seems about moderate, and uh, the head that I do see looks very, very white, very pale. It smells like uh, doesn't smell like much, but you get a little bit of the the earthy saz hops or something like that from the more traditional style of of, of pilsners. Well, there's not much on the aroma, so let's, let's see what we can taste. It's good. Um, unlike a lot of Pilsners, which I think have a too much of a malty sweetness to it, this one's pretty solid. Although it seems that the, the two components of the malt and the bitters are actually separate a little bit. So you get this creamy, uh, lightly toasted, but kind of tasty malt component up front, and then it stops. And then you get this slightly bitter, Kind of flavor at the end, and then that kind of stops, and then you're done. Uh, decent beer. Uh, I drink this on a hot day, you know, no problems. All right, sounds good. So let's go to number two. Uh, compared to the first one, this one is a lot lighter in color, uh, really like a pale straw. Uh, maybe, a little, maybe a step above pale straw, a little darker in color. There's a little bit more head than the first option although not much lacing on the glass. Carbonation seems to be fairly aggressive again. It smells a little bit like hoppy flowers, I guess. With malt. Again, not much on the nose. Quite tasty, actually. Um, it's got a very creamy mouthfeel, probably because I just swirled it around a little bit before I took a sip. It is relatively tasteless, although it's got a little bit of fruitiness to it. Not bad. And number three, uh, what you can see on the side of the glass, actually, this one had some kind of lacing. Uh, definitely foamed up when it was poured, and definitely left some residual lacing on the side. Uh, I know that lacing has a lot of factors going into it, but you can assume that all these glasses were washed the same, so given that variable, this had a lot of lacing. Again, really like a maybe a step above pale straw in color, uh, bright white head, and it seems to be the most, seems to be the best at keeping the head on top. If you look at these other ones, you guys can't see it, but number one really doesn't have any foam on top, number two is a little bit, and this guy has got a thick layer on top. Oh man, this one's got to be the A for pills. Uh, this one smells so much like like earthy, like a little bit funky kind of hops, and a little bit like skunk cabbage. I know it doesn't sound appealing to people who may not have seen skunk cabbage, but that's a very that's the kind of the aroma that I get out of this. Yeah, and there's like a bitterness all around. 
and it's got a, it really is like a sweeter malt components and a bitterness all around. Bitter is a little bit sharp, which is again kind of nice and very indicative of that European style Pilsner. Um, and it's all built around a malty backbone. So this is a pretty standard and classic European Pils. I'm going to be confident saying that is Yefer, uh, which means that this one is probably the Clipper City. And this guy is Coors Banquet, which again, doesn't seem to be too bad. So let's see if I am correct. Again, I'm correct. Good. Well, I think these are all actually pretty decent beers. Um, the Coors Banquet stands up pretty nicely in this lineup. Uh, obviously, if you're going for classic style and tradition, this guy is is definitely what you want to drink. If you want a, a little more flavorful beer that's more malt flavor than hop flavor, uh, the Clipper City um, Classic Lager is pretty tasty. Plus, for us in Baltimore, it's a local beer, so you got to support the local brewery. And the Coors Banquet, again, surprisingly, does a really good job. Uh, it's not a bad beer, and it, while it may not be the perfect European style or a really interesting local style, it's actually a really decent beer. So, as always, happy drinking, and uh, cheers!